This is LMURealSplitters.com. I'm Scott Erland, back again with head women's basketball coach Crystal Evans. Crystal, let's look back again um, at this earlier this week, I guess, or, or back on Saturday. Uh, 69 to 48 win over Coker. You got to be happy with your team's performance in that game. Just talk about that a little bit. I am. I am. I actually, I felt like we did a good job cutting down on our turnovers, which is definitely something that's just been plaguing us uh, the last couple of games, and uh, it's something that we've definitely been focused on during practice. Uh, and, the, and they did a good job. It actually transferred over to the game, and um, we obviously did a better job in the second half because we had 12 at halftime, so I was a little worried when I saw that on the stats. Like, oh, man, I hope we don't have a 20-plus uh, game. But, you know, they had five in the second half. They played smarter, and, and I felt like they did a good job closing the deal. And then when you going into the – we knew going into the game that rebounding was going to be huge. We we came into that game leading the nation in rebounding margin, and and Coker came into that game near the bottom of the nation in that category, and it showed in the stat sheet. I rebounded them 57 to 23. We had more offensive boards, 26, and they had total boards, um, 21 to nothing on second chance points. How big do you think? How much do you think that swung the game? Well, rebounding for us is obviously that is our top priority, and as you can tell in the stats, that's something that we have done consistent consistently every single game and uh, that's something I'm very proud of because sometimes you'll have uh, games where okay we do this well and then the next game we're doing this well and you know that's something that like I said it's just been consistent and uh, it's something we're definitely focused on so going into it I did think it was going to be uh, a big part of the game plan which it will be part of our game plan every game coming out but uh, Coker they just did a really good job they focused on it um, they hit the offensive boards really hard I do feel like we kind of uh, <laughs> were uh, patting our stats a little bit because we were missing some uh, little chippers there um, so maybe that's kind of why we got that 26 offensive boards because uh, we were shooting uh, for, or finishing our layup so poorly but hey you know if it looks good on the stats I'm happy <laughs> And a lot of times the stats uh, don't tell the story. As you talk, you talk about if, if we had told you before the game that Stephanie Smith ends up with four points, uh, six rebounds, has three fouls, you probably don't feel good about your, your chances in that game, right? Probably not. Probably not. You know, it's funny. Uh, Coker just really um, zeroed in on Stephanie. And uh, at times, if you uh, pause the game film, uh, I mean, she had three Coker jerseys around her so they kind of sandwiched her in and that's that's some things that offensively we weren't reading correctly uh I think that's why you know Megan Pittman at times was so wide open or, or even uh Courtney Cox was so wide open and Courtney did a good job knocking down those shots and and Megan you know she had she just struggled uh against Coker finishing and and uh not that she had a bad game uh, she still had a good game she did some of the other things that were very important uh for us but you know Stephanie is, is a force uh, in the paint, and um, I don't feel like, uh, not that we were missing Stephanie, but I don't feel like her effort was still there, and uh, that's not, nothing against Stephanie. She's a, she's a great player. However, when they had three, I think Stephanie felt overwhelmed instead of continuing to post, and, you know, had she continued to post, whether they got three or not, I think we still could have got her the ball. It's just that our, our players didn't feel comfortable getting her the ball when they saw that she, you know, was uh, not posting big, not getting her arms up, not uh, uh, spinning and sealing her person and, and doing all those little things that if she was just being guarded one-on-one, -on -one, she would have done. Um, so it's a learning process. I mean, again, I think Stephanie took that game, and, and uh, you know, she's a great player, and she's going to get better and learn from it because it's not going to be the only team this season that's probably going to, you know, focus on, on uh, Stephanie. So, you know, it's something that she's just got to learn. Okay, well, now when you've got two girls around her, you're, you're still posting. When you've got three girls around you, you're still posting because at the end of the day, you can still finish. And, uh, yeah, she's, she's, she's going to get better. She's going to get better. Well, now let's turn our attention uh, a little bit ahead. You've got, after today, you've got a little less than a week to prepare for Newberry, and, and this is a big game. It's been marked on the calendar, obviously, as a big early season matchup. Yes. They they come in uh, at 5-3 and three overall. They just took their first conference loss, so, so they're going to be hungry. They, they lose at Anderson, or at home against Anderson yeah. this, uh, this past weekend. So just talk about that matchup with Newberry a little bit. Well, Newberry's got a great team. Uh, Lapeo is definitely a force. Uh, to be reckoned with, and also Samantha Creed's been playing so well, uh, so that it's going to be a great challenge for us. 
Um, I am excited uh, because I do feel like our, our post players match up very well against Lapeo. And, uh, you know, I think our guards did a tremendous job against Coker playing better uh, as far as denying the perimeter. And, and I thought we defended the three-point line a lot better against Coker. And I'm, I'm, you know, counting on that to carry over to the Newberry game. And I feel like, you know, we'll do a good job on uh, Samantha Creed as well as far as defending her. But this is a great team. And uh, they are coming off that loss. And that was a close game. I mean, they, they went down to the wire with Anderson. And Anderson, you know, is a good team as well. Um, but, you know, I do think they'll probably be hungry against us. And, you know, it, it, we're, we're fired up for about the game too. So, I mean, you're just entering in. Uh, I mean, you're just bringing to the table what we already have. So uh, emotions are going to be high and it's going to be a good game. And, and it's a, you know, good conference game. Aside from the obvious of uh, needing to, you know, limit, obviously we're not going to be able to totally stop Samantha Creed or Haley LePayo. But in terms of the obvious of limiting what they do, what do you think is going to be the most important factor for, for us to win that game? Well, I think LaPeo is, uh, you know, like I said, a great post player, left-handed. She can knock down the free throw uh, range shot, uh, you know. So I think that she can score um, and maybe have some outside shots, kind of how we played Hope Smith at Bluefield State. And, uh, but we're, we're not going to let her get anything easy in the paint. Um, you know, she's going to have to work for her points. And, and the same with uh, Samantha Creed. Uh, Samantha is very crafty. Uh, she's just a smart player. She, she understands when she's being uh, denied to go back door. She, she just moves very well. She can uh, shoot three. She can, uh, she's got mid-range. She can take it to the basket. So she's just uh, very multi-talented. And, you know, I just told my players, you know, look, uh, we want to focus on Samantha, and once she gets rid of the ball, uh, I don't want her to get it back. So that's kind of our, our game plan, and um, obviously we want to keep them off the boards. Uh, you know, rebounding's never uh, going to stop. That's something we're always going to focus on, and and uh, you know I just feel like going against them. Um, you know, hopefully when we're entering the ball into our post players, like we should and we will <laughs> uh, do a better job. Uh, I feel like maybe we can even get LaPay on a little foul trouble as well. All right, Coach. Well, best of luck to you. We look forward to uh, talking to you after uh, uh, Monday's matchup against Newberry. Thank you.